billionaire Kwek Leng Chan has resigned as chairman of Hong Leong Capital. He has held the post since February 25, 1991. In a filing to Busa, the company said the 74-year-old was stepping down in line with the group's internal restructuring. 60-year-old Tan Kong Kun, the current CEO and president of Hong Leong Financial Group, will take Quack's place with immediate effect. The move comes ahead of a 2019 deadline for Bank Negara's implementation of new liquidity requirements called the Net Stable Funding Ratio, or NSFR, a liquidity standard under Basel III. PM Najib has reportedly hinted that the upcoming general polls will likely be called before Hajj season starts in July. According to local media reports, the Prime Minister said this after handing over offer letters to over 1,000 pilgrims scheduled to perform the Hajj this year. The pilgrimage was organised as part of the PM's special Hajj programme and sponsored by Yayasan 1MDB. Najib also defended the state fund today, saying people should not be overly critical of it and overlook its benefits. He says it's slender to say that 42 billion ringgit was siphoned off, that the figure is just debt, which can be settled via the sale of its assets. Over 5,000 pilgrims have been sent to perform the Hajj under the 1MDB sponsorship program since 2011. MHB says it intends to sell its 11% stake of GMR Hyderabad International Airport to GMR Airports for about 295 million ringgit. The two parties entered into a share purchase agreement today. Through this disposal, MHB expects to gain about 255 million ringgit, which will increase the EPS for this year by 15.38 cents. This compared with the total cost of investment of 40.2 million ringgit made in 2002. MAHB says that the proposed disposal provides an opportunity for the group to unlock its investment at an attractive value. It adds that this proposed disposal is part of its portfolio rebalancing strategy and the proceeds are for general corporate purposes and expenses related to the proposal. The exercise is expected to be completed by December 1st this year. Asia X is said to be looking to buy Boeing 787s to expand its fleet. The AirAsia Group, which has already ordered A330s and A350s, has been exclusively linked to Airbus planes. But according to Reuters, industry experts say Boeing 787s could fit into its long-haul operations. Quoting AirAsia Group Chief Tony Fernandez, the report says the group is also keen to buy more of the Airbus A321 Neo long-range jets after purchasing a hundred of them as he says AX will certainly need more jets going forward. Last month, Fernandez said the group wants to add about 30 jets to its airline affiliates across Asia this year due to strong demand growth. Aeon Malaysia says expectations of this year's general election and a stronger ringgit is good news for consumer sentiment. Executive Director Po Ying Lu believes the incentives announced under the Consumer Friendly Budget 2018 will also boost consumption, which will benefit the retail industry as a whole. Aeon just opened its Max Value Prime store in Bangsa South today and expects to draw up to 20,000 shoppers a week. Max Value Prime is Aeon's premium supermarket chain and today's opening marks its third outlet in the country. The retailer is looking at opening three more Max Value Prime outlets this year at a cost of 5 million ringgit each. It also plans to open its first retail mall in Sarawak, called Eon Mall Kuching, by the second quarter of this year.